Nobody plays Black Spear. I like the idea behind Black Spear, kind of. It might be strong. You know, I think this deck just might make a comeback. This just might have to be a Kalista deck. Heck is not offering enough on um, value. Like, I, I think this is just better all of a sudden, isn't it? I might want to play Fading Memories, actually, as a three of. And maybe drop the Skitterers. I don't think they do enough. Endure. I mean, he could fit. I could splash Endure. That's not bad. That's good. I was looking for Vile Feasts. It's a pretty good mat card in this matchup. I was looking also for her. Yeah, I like this hand. No one drop plays. Nice. Good start. I mean, he might have the Elise opener. Oh, he does- wait, what? He has no two drop? Really? That's sick. I mean, we always open with this, I believe. I don't think we ever not play this. And if it dies, we have Rekindler in hand, so we're okay with it. Why not run one of Rasa? I feel like it's too slow. Also, I don't want Rasa being stolen from me. It's fine. I'm hoping for him to do um glimpse on this, right? His hand looks to be bricked, which means I should really be expecting a glimpse on a spider on his opening hand, which means we have um Vile Feast. Okay, that makes sense. 8 out of 12, wow. He doesn't attack? Wait, what? Why not? You might want to rush him. I think so too. Um, I mean, I can't though with this hand. My hand is a bit awkward. Maybe I should have kept Thaywinder. I thought it was more of an aggro deck. Your opponent is thinking several games ahead. I can tell. I'm curious, chat. What do you guys... How would you guys rate my cat statue from 1 to 10? 1 being absolutely horrible. 10 being the most amazing thing you've ever seen. How would you guys rate it? 5, 7, 8, 11, 3, 6, 7. A lot of 3s and 4s and 2s. But also a lot of high scores. It's pretty polarizing. Use fading memories in what situations? On the Endures? On Endures and on Rekindlers. I think they're both pretty good. You can use it on the 4 cost as well, like Mist Wraith. Occasionally, if you're like really far ahead and you're just rushing him down early. He can just give you more pressure. That's a viable way to use it. I do like this, because um, I do have the Black Spear follow-up for whatever he drops. You said based on how horrible it looks, one being horrible. No, I, I, I meant more like on a coolness factor, right? Like, how cool do you think it is? <laughs> That's exactly the same thing, actually. It's a weird play by him. That's nice. That's really nice. This is gonna be fun. Does he run Ruination? Okay, guys, I don't know this deck. Does this deck run Ruination? I don't care. I have Fading Memories for this. If he wants to Ruinate, he can Ruinate. One at most. Yes, 100%. We're gonna start pushing a lot of damage. We'll just out-tempo him, that's my play right now. Um, I could have gone for this to slowly lower it, but I think out-tempoing him is important. As long as he can get just a gigantic board, I should be good. Black Spear, Mirror, Rekindler. I actually thought about it. I like stealing this card, I'm being honest. Actually, is it good to steal that card? Or do I just, like, make another Callista? No, no, I, I never steal that card, what am I saying? I'll just go for this. Yeah, it's horrible to steal. This is like go full full on ham, I think. Artillery barrage. One, two, what does this bring back? Six, so that's three, four, five. Um, everything should be fearsome, right? I think that's the best play. Okay, leave these guys on board. It's so cool that this didn't die, so I just get to generate these guys for free. It's a pretty sick combo. Like, he has no blockers with this, right? That's pretty tough for him to come back from. Is 
Is that lethal? I think it is. Oh wow, that's a sick combo. I didn't I didn't realize he could do that. That's so good. That's such a good counter to me. Holy smokes. That's insane. I did not expect that. Cause um it, it hits them for two it hits them twice, right? That's really cool. I like that. I need um, um what do you call it? He's doing quite a bit of damage. Oh, and that's what I was gonna say. I need atrocity. <laughs> I was gonna say, I need atrocity if I want to win this. Lull indeed, man. So here's the problem. He can do 4 damage to anything that's stunned, right? This is how much? 8 mana? Shit. I don't have lethal. I guess stunned or damaged. Well, this is not stunned, I guess, which is nice. Let's see how much damage he does now to me. He's thinking I played this just so I can block the f this dude right here, right? That's his thought process, that I'm looking to block this guy. Wait, what? Hmm, he could fervor, but if they passed? I'm not sure what I'm doing here. He's trying to stun me to death, I think so too. <gasps> no! I fucked up! I had to do atrocity. Oh no. Okay, you guys screwed me over. <laughs> You guys screwed me over. Okay, I need him to do his um He knows he knows I have it I should have atrocity there guys I screwed up Maybe not maybe I'm Gucci still I might still be good <laughs> All right, let's try guys YOLO! Please work! That's the top deck! He top decked it! No! He top decked the card, man! Fuck! Fuck! He top decked it! Oh, we screwed up so much! We, we screwed up so much! I forgot that the 2-4 would do damage and stun my guy. Damn it. Damn it. I like keeping this for the 2-1 with Ephemeral and Lifesteal. That can be annoying. Like, it's not annoying on my attack, but it's annoying when he attacks me. He can heal up for free. Double or Glimpse is not bad, actually. Because he is playing Ezreal, so that does prevent his level up condition. Which is pretty damn nice. I'll block this every time. Okay. I can't stop that. My biggest problem right now is I have no, um... I've got absolutely no 3-drop, and that's an, that's an issue. <sighs> so we're looking at 4 mana next turn. Um, I might have just, just have to pass. There we go. Hell yeah. Elise shows up on time. Alright, so we're glimpsing his um, Thermo Beam or whatever. Or not. This works too. So we're looking at Vile Feast on this, if he blocks with it. If not, nah. This is fine. I think this is more important to be saved to um, prevent his... his Ezreal level up than anything else on spells. Like, we have a 4-drop, so there's no real need to spend this mana now. If we didn't have a 4-drop, I would have probably um, used it. So yeah. Board looking good. Have you seen the ephemeral Hecarim variant of TWE? I think Hecarim ephemeral is just weaker in general. I think Elise is just so good that you really want to play her. And if you're playing Elise with all these little tokens, I think Callista is just better. Callista just does more work, I feel. I tried Hecarim without the ephemeral synergy, but I mean, I guess it, you have to rebuild the deck to play Hecarim. You have to play all those um, one cost saplings and stuff. It's a different kind of deck. I'm not saying it's bad. I just don't think it's as good. What do we have here? Thermo Beam, please, for 8? That would be nice. I feel like he doesn't have, like... Oh, that's fine. That is absolute... I don't need. I don't even need to attack with that. That is okie dokie with me. Let's party. Let's party. If we can get a level up on this, we are in the green. Yeah, Stunning Elise was better. I mean, he has no way to block this, that's his fear. Well, actually, he would have had a way to block it with Tail of the Dragon. Yeah, I think he messed up. Stunning Elise was definitely better. Hmm. Interesting play. That's one dead. 
I could actually level up, level up this turn. He wants to kill a lace. I know he does. Okay, we got the level up condition. What's his play now? He casted one spell. I actually want to pass here and not level up if he's going to insist on passing himself. Because whatever spell he plays to deny me this is going to um, give him double ephemeral, right? And I, I can use these to deny spells as well, which is nice. Static shock he can't stop, unfortunately. Will of Aeonium, not a big deal. Yeah, insta pass. Let him stay at one spell and I deny, I deny him all of his healers. Like, he can't heal now. How sick is that? His hand must be... No, he had a spell. He played it and then he removed it. He had mana to play something. I think he needed to play his play card there. It's fine. He needed to play something to get the two two ones. Static shock. Yeah. So he can't kill my dude at this point, which is pretty nice. I can kill Karma. I know I can. I don't know if I want to though. Like Karma's not a big deal. This will level me up. White block with Callista. Tell me something, Gabe. Did Richard, Did Richard try, try to ruin your game? game? Will you make it free? Maybe get rid of some RNG. I don't know what my play here is, though. Um, again, I'm going to pass here because he's played no spells, right? And I don't think I'm doing atrocity. I could do atrocity if he does, like, a spell on this. Okay, now he has um, double generation of units. So, in general, I think it is a good time to atrocity this into hell. Is it? I mean, it might be bad. I actually think atrocity is bad here, guys. Believe it or not. No, atrocity is bad here. What am, what am I thinking of? Because um, this this can't be blocked by either of these or either of these, right? It's a 4-1 that gets to attack for free. I think I simply pass on that. His hand is low. Yeah, but atrocity also reaches face. Like, atrocity is really strong. This is a pass. Atrocity can't be right there. He has no blockers for any of this, which is really nice. Like, these guys do nothing. And I can... Um, I'm gonna get um more of these mystery. Oh, okay, good. So Deho Endure is not on top of the deck. This is the only thing he can block with these, right? Everything else is unblockable. We're pushing for lethal damage on board. He has to do something about it. Trusty kills Callista. A trusty Callista. <laughs> I mean, we're pushing pretty close to lethal at this point. I'm gonna be doing glimpse on this guy to deny him the life steal. Like, no, this is just too important. Like, he has to waste resources to hit this. He's not that much mana, right? He's at seven mana. Imagine not having this on board. How much better his hand is all of a sudden he has to kill this he literally has to like do something about it so yeah mm. okay so let's uh think about this in a good way i do like this play right he's down to 10. i do like glimpsing this as well and I do like killing his karma now. I mean, do I really care about his karma? I'm hitting him for five. Both of these are dying. I can't keep these guys from dying. I don't have lethal. I think I want to keep this for lethal in general. We're about to draw a lot of cards as well. Like, the odds of not drawing a Deho Endure are pretty low. Yeah, he used it as another karma generator spell, but it went in into his deck. I don't, I don't think Atrocity is correct to do. Yeah, I like to do Atrocity in response to, like, Will of Aeonia. I just don't think the reach is necessary. Because he's generating Dragon Link's attack with next turn as well. He's going to be healing somewhat. Like, he's not going to be down to 5 if I trust it. He's going to go up to 7 at least. Haunted Relic, okay. Black Spear is nice. Wow, that's a good card. So Black Spear is fantastic. Rekindler is pretty damn good. 1 out of 2. So he has no, um, he has no Dragon Links coming up, which is really nice. Yeah. Am I passing or am I playing something? I like passing and holding on to spell mana. Black Spear is nuts. It's a really good spell. This is really sick. I mean, I kind of want this to die. <laughs> what is what does this revive anyway? Like, it revives my Elise, right? I want him to kill this. I want this to get killed. He might actually just go for the kill here and remove my 5-3 off the board. <laughs> Got him! Played right into it, my friend. Oh, that feels good. Read like a fucking book. Yeah. Yes, he was read like a book, indeed. Ooh, this is so sick, by the way. If we chronicler the... Um... Oh, that's a sick play. We just attack with the, um, these dudes, I think. 
GG. GG, my friend. Nice game. This deck is sick. It's a fun deck. But yeah, he uh we, we got him to we forced him to do a misplay. He committed Sudoku to save what's left of his honor. True. I mean, in his mind, he kinda had to go for the kill Callista, and I knew that, right? I knew if he has a way to kill Callista, he'll remove it that turn. Because he knows I'm just generating non-stop fearsome units every time I attack with Callista. Story behind calling Seppuku as Sudoku. It just sounds sim similar in general. And people started playing Sudoku, and yeah, it just stemmed from there, I guess. So um, I was hoping for a Teemo open for him, not um, not a Fizz open. Shit. That's insane. He has the nuts opener. Guys, I think we're screwed. I think we lost. Holy shit. He has the nuts opener. Yeah, this this is one of those games you just lose. <laughs> this is just one of those games you can't win. Good for him. I'm just gonna start um, spending my, my stuff to have as much to attack with as possible. I think I might have to open attack here. Um, Can I make a comeback into this game? I severely doubt it, but we're gonna do our best to try. Like, our they who is not even starting to get bigger. Oh boy. You definitely want to play this into killing that, right? I mean, this is just basic healing. It's kind of nice to have. He stole a really bad unit. Like, it was the worst steal he could have gotten. Double Glimpse is nice. And we have um, Rekindler into Chronicler, so we've got we've got options to play with. Like we're not dead yet. I can't do anything about that. Make it rain could be annoying, but making rain doesn't guarantee to hit this either. So there is that to consider. I might have to play this onto my um, Callista. It'll depend what I draw here. Okay, this is a pretty good draw. Double Day Endure. I, I purposely actually, I was going to talk about this, but I forgot about that. Um, somebody asked me why I didn't include Vengeance in this deck. I purposely added no cards in my own deck that can kill my own Deho Endures. Because I know Klepto is very common. So like, for example, you run um, a Unyielding Spirit deck and you play Will of Ionias, right? All of a sudden, Klepto can actually find answers to your, to your um, win combo. I like the idea behind having no way for them to steal an answer to this. I think it makes the deck more consistent. Uh, how much trouble am I in here? I've got no blockers for this. What am I looking to do here? One out of three. So give me two out of three. And then if he allows that, I can just play Chronicler to level her up immediately. That's kind of okay. I'll probably kill this off. Alright, so he allowed it to happen. That's kind of nice. We have multiple. This is not bad. I still think we lose pretty hard. I'm going to kill that off before he can breed into whatever he can breed into. <laughs> let's uh, let's deny that. I don't want to deal with the fucking Von Yip, dude. And then we have the level up condition. This will become a 3-2, which means he can block his 3-2. It's kind of nice. This will die, but keep in mind, we're killing it off right before the Rekindler turn, right? That's fine. She has a fleeting Von Yip. I'm not mad at that. What does she generate? That's kind of nice. It buffs this to be a 4-something. I like it. Von Yip is the cat, really? Is that true? Is Von Yip really the cat? I had no idea. Really? That's pretty cool. I like it more now. 3, 7 damage. He's down to 12 because of... Wait, he has lifesteal? Wait, what? Oh, because this is dying. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, My problem is that I had no, um, no way to kill this off, so I can't play Rekindler. But I guess we're just going down for Day Who Endures now. Like, this does nothing at this point, right? <sighs> Fucking Teemo, dude. It's a big dude. I want to see if he attacks with Von Yip. I, I kind of want to... I want this to die so I can make this a 9-9. Like, he's always attacking because it's um, ephemeral, right? And if he doesn't attack, I'm happy not to play anything this turn. 7 damage incoming. I don't mind. That's pretty good for me, actually. The more stuff he kills, the better. 
Perfect. So, we got actually 10-10 instead of 8-8s eight now. That was the idea, at least. So yeah, waiting there was quite important. His deck doesn't have many ways to deal with this. It's fine. Like, we're pushing for so much damage at this point. Also, um, drawing into Atrocity would be pretty sick. It would give us um, another Wink on later down the line. Also, this generates um, an Ephemeral unit, which is nice as well. He has to block this, basically, with, one, with um, this guy. I think there's no point to attack with this. Actually, there is, maybe. Let's see what happens. Oh, shit! Oh, this kind of ruins it. Well, it doesn't matter. What are we looking at here? It's still lethal, right? 6 plus 7, yeah. 13. Even if he levels up his Teemo, he's getting hit for um, exactly 12, I think. I think it's exactly lethal. Like, 6 and 6, right? Got him. Exactly lethal. Feels good. Rip Fizz, yeah, he had a really sick start as well. Like, his start was amazing. He even gave us the Heimerdinger BM when he played his um, opener. Made it a 4-4 to start. So, we, um, we made a comeback. I was not expecting to make a comeback there. You can have a colored deck name. Is that right? I did not know that. Go edit the deck. Okay, show me. And copy and paste this. Oh, wow. You can use HTML, really? Holy crap. You don't even need the closing bracket. 